I wanted to do an older one, you know, but now they don't put the um, Hemi's in anymore. They put the like, high output uh, Eco Boost turbos. I call them Eco Boosts, but they twin turbos. Make just about the same power as the um, 6.4, but it doesn't sound as good, so, you know. So check this bad boy out. Like I said, this is the Series 3 Grand Wagoneer. It's nice silver color. Bad boys, man. Are you a fan of them or what? I do apologize for any wind noise. Hopefully, it's not too windy today. But, uh, check out this front end. So, you get some LED high beam and low beam headlights, which uh, DRL mixed in with their turn signal. It's like a sweeping motion. Got some LED fog lights, front parking sensors, got a, plenty of chrome, radar up there front camera right here and the wagon there is like chrome with some bronze so that's pretty nice check that out some gloss black down there more chrome this thing is for $113,000 man you know, it better be so you got some Goodyear 20 well Goodyear uh, Eagle Touring these are 22s 285 45R22. You know what you guys think about this rim with that uh, gray with that machine aluminum on the outside? He does come with uh, air suspension. Got your Grand Wagon Air script. Camera for your 360. Turn signal right there. More that. Check that out. Nice Check out all that chrome and that gloss black. Looks pretty nice, man. Check out that again. Check out the rear end. How it just how little the lights just sweep. So you see the LED turn signal and brake lights. seats down. I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but check out this. I want you to check out these carpets, man. Nice. I wish you could feel them. They're like pretty thick. Get this out the way. So you can fold these seats down with these buttons right here. So third row, you know, it folds back up. I folded it down so you guys can see the cargo space. There you go. Just press the button and it folds down. Demonstrate that right now. Do both of them. Boom. A subwoofer back here, nice power cigarette style lighter right there. Charger, you can do the second row too. But it doesn't come back up though, which sucks. But uh, third row does check that out. Cargo space under here Let's see your crossbars, some cargo nets, and a bunch of. Yeah, I want a manual. Uh, check this bad boy out. That's just space you get. Just press that button. You can hold it to set your desired height. Just press that and just get out the way. It does this thing. There you go. Don't you guys think about it, man. Kind of sucked that they're rear first lights are way down there on such a big vehicle but 
that's whatever, I guess. See your running boards coming down. Nice uh, black with some peanut butter stitching. Plenty of aluminum. A nice sunshade right here. Got your Macintosh sound system. Check out that uh, third row. Do get two USB C and USB, and you can you know recline the seats back here. Check that out. Nice leather and nice little sunroof. Well, it doesn't open, but um, it's just sun. Let some sun in. And your fam cam. Just get back here. Jeez. Damn seats. Just press the button right there. Boom. Step up in here. I'm actually gonna fold it back. Cause you get plenty of room back here. Plenty of room. Like, I'm not even cramped. Like I said, you can fold this down. So we'll fold it back so you see you can roll back. Recline a little bit. Open and close that uh sunshade. It's pretty nice in here, man. Wanna just get out, press that button. Seat does his thing. Step onto this running board. Oh, this thing is ready to go. Seat to go back up. You also check out that third row, I mean second row. Soft leather. Get your rear climate screen back here. You know, screen off, screen on. So you got heated, cool seats back here. Nice uh, house outlet with a cigarette style. Two USB C's and two USBs, regular USBs. Still get some ambient lighting right there. Running through the vehicle. Nice sunroof. Leather arm. Uh, both. Ready to go. The only thing missing is some TVs back here, but other than that, this thing is ready to go. I love the you know black um, inserts of the handle, door handle. It is keyless entry. You tap that to lock and then just grab the door handle, unlock. Does that blind spot and heated mirrors and has that four feature so you can just see your blind spot. black so you do get two person memory seats you know you move the seats like this on the door you know typical you can move the backrest top and bottom and then your headrest and then you can adjust everything it's like a uh, it's like a tap sensitive so it like vibrates you can hear that and you can move your lumbar and your thigh supporters. There's a grand wagon here script right there. And another one wagon here. So you got the window sticker real fast. You want to pause that. This thing is pretty nice. I like said $113,000. This one have a couple miles on it, like I think 2,500 miles. So it's not Probably that price, maybe still probably still a hundred thousand dollars. Probably the base price. So this is having a 6.4 and the eight speed, you know, 13 city, 18 uh highway, 15 combined. Step up, up in here, close the door so you hear no wind. Go check that out. Nice leather dash. Some tweeters right there for your uh Macintosh sound system. It's supposed to be a screen. I don't know why I'm not cutting on. I don't know what that about. But um wait, I think that might be the window sticker. Sorry about that. But you do get this nice aluminum. Looks relatively good. Check that out with that ambient lighting. Grand Wagoneer and gloss black. So you got the key. Yeah, 
you can lower the vehicle, you know, to uh, entry level, entry and exit level, no start, all that good stuff. Nice little aluminum up here. More of that gloss black for your armrest. I'm not gloss black, leather with the peanut butter stitching for your armrest. It's like a, a freezer or a cool box. You know, you just press that to keep your drinks or whatever you have in there cool. It's pretty nice having a little fridge. And I guess that's like your little storage. But, uh, I go on to the other side real fast. I do apologize about this wind, man. Just blow my damn paper around. I'll pick that up in a minute. Check out more of this interior. Man, I just love that, like aluminum. With the gloss black and the peanut butter. And it's all look premium. Check that out. Same button you got to get the third row. Fold the seats down right there. Nice gloss black on the back of the seat. With some nice chrome. Check that out. So you gotta hear that 6.4 just rumbling back there. Same seats controls you get on the passenger and the driver. You can fold the mirrors in right there. Just twist that knob back. Boom. It's the same seat control that you get on the passenger side and the driver's side. You know, auto mirrors and all that good stuff. Check that out. Same Grand Wagoneer script. Nice, uh, comfortable seats, which is Series 3. Snapped right there. Go ahead and get up in here. Uh, let me open this sunshade so you can look at So, uh, like I said, this does have 2,500 miles on it. 2,514. So, uh, this one got a little bit of miles on it. Got your heads up display right there. Light controls right here. Pedal controls. You know, you can adjust your pedals. Which is nice. Nice leather steering wheel. Some of this peanut butter stitching. Auto high beams. Just and why got my lights on right now? So turn it just enable like that. Push and then disable. Nice full screen up there. You know this is right here. Control the screen up there. Talk about that in a minute. But it got nice. This more this aluminum gloss black. Just look premium. Kind of weird style steering wheel. It's you know, like a school bus or something, but pretty nice. Anyways, so uh, this screen, this button right here controls, you know, most of that. So you got your night vision. Right now, it's a driver info. So you got your speedometer, night vision, driver assist. But, um, oh, there you go. So, yeah, check that out. Night vision, man. Looks pretty crazy. And, um, wait, let me go back to trying to go to analog there you go so you got your analog date gauges or your digital you just hold okay to you know change between the two and then you got your fuel information and mpg and battery voltage and all that good stuff uh trip map display is loading i'm waiting for that to load up there you go so you got your full map you know if you don't want it right there you just boom and it will pop up and show some arrows and stuff. Hope you guys can see that on, on the um, heads up display. Off road pages. Like I said, this does have the air suspension. So right now it's an arrow to improve aerodynamics and all that good stuff. Radio, messages, settings, and then your driver. You gotta get that night vision. <laughs> it looks pretty cool like that. It's got the adaptive cruise control right here. And you're right at the school control, and you can like active driving assist ready for lane detection limited. So, they basically kind of drive itself, you know, keeping your lane turn a little bit. 
So you gotta, you know, keep your hands, not keep your hands on the steering wheel, but let the car know you're there every now and then. So I'll turn that off right now. But uh, check out that night vision, looks pretty good. Really got a speaker right there for that Macintosh sound system. That camera I was telling you guys about, which is pretty nice. Gloss black up here. Open it. Full glass roof. Check it out. Got a little mirror for if you don't want to, you know, turn around. But you do get fam cam. I'm sure you got that in a minute. Check that out. So you got this massive screen. Oh, let me show you guys this one more time. Just if you want to get another uh, view of it. Guys can pause that. But um, yeah, so you got the 12 inch screen, 12 inch uh, Ucon A5 right here. So you uh, kind of went over this before, but I'm gonna just kind of break it down real fast. So on the home screen, you can add widgets. And, you know, just add, press that button right there to add your desired widget. Got a little shortcut button right there. I don't know why it's like looking red, but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's not red in person. I don't know. Maybe it's just anti-glare or something. But, uh, yeah, so you got the heated cooler seats and all that good stuff. Driver controls. Well, driver uh, modes. Set up different drivers. So you and your wife in the valet mode. Shortcut menu. Boom. Got a little cart right here. You can buy some stuff on your apps. But, um, got your heated cool. You got some physical, like, not button physical, but touch sensitive buttons right here for your different three zones for climate cool seats steering wheel all that good stuff got your media magazine sounds pretty good i was listening to it earlier got your comfort climate controls kind of a little bit laggy but um i don't know why it's showing red but it's not red in person so hopefully you guys it's not bothering people Navigation. This has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, wireless. Your vehicle controls. You can fold down a second headrest, third row headrest. You know, uh, all that good stuff. I'm sure that fam cam I was telling you about. I don't know why it's showing red. So yeah, so you kind of see me up there a little bit, but you know, check out individual seats. Check on your passenger, your third row and the second row. But uh, yeah. Click this entire seat and zoom. Kind of nice though. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice though. Rear cam. I'll show you. I put it in first. Got your 360 view right here. Top down view, rear view, cross path. Your front camera, front and top view. Just your standard view. Uh, yeah, man, it's pretty straightforward. You got your Uconnect apps. All that good stuff. The off road pages, so let that load up for me. Oh, never mind. Got you all got your gauges right here, pitch and roll. You can select the ter uh, terrain, you even can drop brake on you know, if you get lost. It's suspension right now. I told you it's an arrow, but come down right here. I don't know why that screen is showing red. I apologize about that. But you got your standard uh controls for your climate, you know. And you got this little screen right here for your seats and whatnot, massaging seats. If I can get to the, I don't know why it's doing this. I don't know. It's not really responding well. I'm just let that go away. Let that reset. But um, yeah. So you got two USBs and USB Cs. You got some HDMI plug right here. That's for the passenger. I guess you can hook up a PlayStation or something right there. Got a wireless charging pad. I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. Oops. But yeah, it should be in there charging. So yep, there you go. So you can um, got your auto hold. That's like for your brake. You know, you tap the brake. Uh, you press that. When that's on, you hit the brake. You don't have to hold it at a light. And it just you just tap the gas to go. Got your lane keeping, your traction, your you know, park assist keep moving for time to do all that right now but right now i'm in the parking lot so you can find a parking spot and space to park in there so you got forward left 
I'm gonna just get out of that right now, turn that off. And then you got your parking sensors, telling me all that. Tow and haul. Oh, that's how you turn that screen on. It's a button right here to turn this screen on. It's a rear passenger screen. So you audio, video, and the HMI. So I guess you can, like I said, play up a little PlayStation or something over there. Hopefully you guys can see that well. There's a button right here. To turn that on and off. But, yeah, so. Pretty, not as much as this, but uh, yeah, it's there. So I'm going to bring this back up. So hopefully it's back working. I don't know what was going on. I'm trying to even... It's not really responding well. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with this screen. Oh, I get it a minute. But uh, you got your air suspension right there. You can put it in. Right now, it's an auto. You got sport, snow, sand, mud, and rock. You see a little icon up here that would show you uh different uh I'm sorry this is not this is your drive mode I'm so sorry about that been a long day so you got sport auto snow sand and mud and uh rock but your air suspension would you know accommodate to whatever you put it in air suspension right here so you can see I put when I put it in Put it back in auto so it's gonna go back down to air to air dynamics and i was trying to adjust back to when i had it in rock so i'm gonna put it back in uh normal city so you can see a little icon right there but i have no idea i'm sorry that the screen is like glitching out right now it was working right before i put the pick the camera up so i have no idea okay there you go yeah so um it's like a, this is where your climate is at, or you can use these buttons up here. So you got your front climate and your seat, so you can do your lumbar, you know, back bolster, thigh bolsters for passenger and the driver. You got massaging seats. I'm gonna turn it on. Uh, oh, on. So right now, I'm doing my lower back. I'm gonna do waterfall, extend. It just it doesn't really feel like a massage, but give it a minute. And then you got your rear climbing, you turn it off or on. And then you just come back over here. Yeah, I don't know why that was glitching, but um, I don't know what that's about. But uh, you got your four wheel drive low, you know, off road cruise control, little two cup holders right there. Everything is pretty, relatively nice. I love the and your start button oh, yeah man so you got this 6.4 check out that interior one more time since the sun is coming out vehicle anymore now it's the they did it for this one year now it's the twin turbo doesn't sound as good as the 6.4 i think the lower ones have a 5.7 so i'm gonna give you guys a quick pov of this uh grand wagon air series 3 with a 6.4 uh, this thing drives relatively smooth with that air suspension and those 22s Pretty quiet in here. You can see your heads up display telling me right now. It's telling me the street I'm road I'm on, and uh, I don't know why my speed in the kilometers. There you go. Speed and all that good stuff. And you can see the safety control over my lane keeping. I'm gonna turn that uh, steering wheel so now it's active drivers is ready. So uh, I can't read my I can't read the outside lane. Oh, there it is. There you go. So I just got my hands off the steering wheel right now. Not telling me I'm speeding, but uh, yeah, I'll give it a little bit of gas. Uh, 
that's 6.4 dude kind of sick they don't put that in this engine in here anymore uh, a little bit of shaking the steering wheel because there's a little bit of rust on the rotors it's just been a 22 so i'm gonna just turn around real fast Should be 360 camera right there Here it is, six four, man. Let me slow down a little bit. Check out that uh, camera back there. Uh, this thing is relatively chill, though. This thing is uh, pretty nice. It's like my first time driving a wagon here, so I really have no complaints. Like any old Jeep, really. Just bigger. The big third row and the body on frame. Uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think about this bad boy, man. Got one quick one around this bad boy. Let me know what you guys think about this man, this bad boy. This is probably the one to buy if you want the 6.4. Like I said, but those uh, EcoBoosts or turbos. I know just their earlier models have like glitches with the screens and all that. So like I just had. It's not a warranty you get that replaced or something. Beast man, hundred thirteen thousand dollars man. Let me know, man. See you. Catch you guys the next one. Peace.